Two Major League Baseball playoff games on the docket, plus Thursday Night Football. We got you covered on everything. Mark Zinno and I, we went 2-1 and one again on the morning wager, as per usual. Now 34-17 and 17, the last 17 shows. That is 67%, sir. Your Yankees in action. My Guardians in action. It was easy to divvy up who would talk about what. Uh, we would yeah. much rather hear you talk about the Yankees than Bob Costas after that shambolic performance uh, behind the microphone last night. So uh, what are we what are we going to do with the Yankees and Royals as the Yankees look uh, to move on to the ALCS? Yeah, um, look, uh, let's start out by saying that um, I have exactly one less hit this postseason than Aaron Judge, which doesn't bode well for the New York Yankees. Uh, it's got to change. And the Yankees, oh, by the way, as much as I was rooting for them, and we cashed, if you guys uh, bought my plays yesterday, one of my plays was the Yankees' first five under. A little bit of a sweat there, but Clark Schmidt did what he was supposed to do, uh, and that was enough. But, look, the Yankees aren't hitting still. Uh, They are a putrid three for 24 with runners in scoring position through three games in this series. They shouldn't have won last night. I mean, Stanton saved them which is not a phrase that Yankee fans utter often. Like Stanton saved the Yankees by hitting that bomb last night. Because if that thing stays in the park and it's just a pop out, guess what? The Royals win that thing in extras. There's just, I I don't see where the Yankees are able to find some offense. Hopefully, we're going to get some positive regression. Now, the other thing we're going to get tonight is Garrett Cole. Garrett Cole on regular rest. Garrett Cole, after 10 days rest, battled through five innings, gave up seven hits, walked two guys, Uh, allowed, I think it was four runs. It wasn't a stellar performance, but again, 10 days rest. Now we get Garrett Cole on normal rest. We also get Garrett Cole on the road where he's been dynamically better this year with a 2.7 ERA and holding opposing hitters to a 198 batting average. We play this game very simply. Yankees first five run line. The simple fact of the matter is, is that if the Yankees don't score early and don't score first, I don't like their chances to win the game. I don't like their chances to come back, despite the fact that the Royals' bullpen is bad. The Yankees have to have a lead. For all the accolades and how good their bullpen has been, it's been relatively rendered useless when you don't play with a lead, right? Like, Mm -hmm. not useless is wrong. Mm -hmm. It's less effective when you don't play with a lead. So, you know, the the idea is that the Yankees have to have some positive regression and, and hit with guys in scoring position. Garrett Cole, I think, will be much better. And oh, by the way, they're facing Michael Waka, who isn't a starter Waka, that you Waka, want to Waka. back that too anywhere on planet Earth, pitching for anybody other than the St. Louis Cardinals about 12 years ago. So <laughs> that situation can't be actually happening. And since he's a member of the Kansas City Royals right now, I think the Yankees get to him. I think they lead by five. I don't want a full headache of nine innings in this one, even though the Yankees bullpen is better. If they're not leading by five, or sorry, not leading by run, after five innings, uh, I have serious concerns that they'll win the game. So let's do Yankees. First five run line here. Very manageable price. Back Garrett yeah. Cole. Back the Yankees offense for some positive regression. And for the Aaron Judge, for the love of freaking God, get a damn hit. Okay, smash that like button. If you're rolling with the Yankees in the first five, comment down below with your thoughts on Bob Costas last night. It wasn't good. It wasn't good at all. Listen, I, uh, mean, I, I, don't, I don't know if he's just old. I don't like like people because I've done play by play before, and people have always asked me, you know, people comment on like broadcasts. I'm like, I really don't get that wound up by it. Like, I've never turned off a game because I don't like the broadcast. Like, if they're really bad, I'll always notice. You yeah. know, if they get mechanics wrong, I'll always notice. You know, but it, it's not like I'm sitting there hanging on their every word like some people are. He was bad last night. Like he was awful. It was it was the the, the gl- one the good Anthony Volpe the Anthony Volpe um, diving stop which was labeled a base hit to center field before it had even gotten past the pitcher's mound. That was a bad look for Bob. He, he could not tell if Anthony Volpe caught it and did not know where the ball was. It was a bad look. We've all Bob. been there. We've all you been there. You should always know well, where your balls are. Yes, always know where your balls are. Uh, I'll tell you what, there have not been a lot of balls in play in this guardians Tiger series. I'm going to talk about this one for my half of the double play and the handicap mark for this game for is pretty straightforward. The Guardians no. have been shut out in back-to-back games. That good? No. Not their good. offense is not kept. Yes, they're uh, As a matter of fact, you go back since a five-run first inning in game one, 
The Guardians have scored two runs in 26 innings. That's very bad. Detroit, meanwhile, okay, they've scored three runs or less in four of the five playoff games so far. It's been the pitching, specifically this bullpen, save for, uh, you know, the two they've had two games from Scooble, but the bullpen, which has been the best in baseball since August 1st in terms of ERA, has been doing a lot of heavy lifting either. Only one Tigers playoff game thus far has seen seven total runs scored. Now, the number has dipped to six and a half here for game four tonight. It's another bullpen game uh, this evening for the Tigers. But A.J. Hinch, he's got to feel good about his bullpen, like I said. Lowest ERA in baseball going back to August 1st. Of course, the Guardians, over the course of the full season, they have the lowest ERA in all of baseball. Their bullpen, and they've also got Tanner Bybee starting Thursday, ah. who has been... Better on the road than at home. A 2.76 ERA away from progressive field. And remember, he tossed four and two-thirds shutout innings back in game one. Looked like he could have gone a little bit longer as well. Runs yeah. are going to be few. This is one that I can, I think the commenters have got to agree with. Runs will be few and far between in this game. They have been all series. Yeah, uh, not only that, but again, uh, talk about scoring first and scoring early. Uh, and the Guardians bullpen not being effective as effective without a lead uh that that's paramount here and here's the thing and you know this everybody knows that bp's big thing is run differential my big thing is uh pitcher run support you know uh, school gets better than five runs of support per start guardians are 22 and 10 with him on the bump this year um you know you mentioned two three two by bb what did i say bb you said school sorry bb That'd be, yes, it'd be nice if the Guardians had Scooble on their roster. They would yes, probably be winning this series. Yes. Let's start again. Ivy gets 5.09 runs of support per start. Uh, so he's been very good in that category. I agree with you. I, I think this is a great spot for the Guardians here. I, I genuinely do. Um, I, 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 I think this goes five. And who knows? I mean, Scooble pitching game five is great drama for TV. Not good for the Guardians. But look, it, plain and simple, man. They got to score first and they got to score early. Because I, this Tigers offense is not going to beat you. Like they're not going to beat you with with nonstop barrage of hits. So uh, Bybee should do the rest, and and I think the Guardians are in a good spot tonight. All right, you know what else is good for you? Let's throw that great graphic up on the board. We've got a Mark and I teaming up for a special yeah, this special. weekend. You 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 there buy one? Oh my god! Oh my, we, my god! We, my, we, Jesus. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that is not part of this special. I mean, that's special, like short special, but it is not part of the special. Um, <laughs> they're, I, they're coming in. I, I do not, Sorry, I do wrong not graphic. Advise, My bad. I do not advise you to um, try and connect on LinkedIn with him <laughs> or anybody. Or just stay off LinkedIn. It's bad. <laughs> well, well, I'll tell you what I would advise right there. Go. Buy one, get one free. Look, I mean, look, two good-looking guys. I mean, how about spending the weekend with us, ladies? All right? I, I'm predicting a record number of buys on this special at Wage Talk from female customers I, I just should, because of that graphic. I think, I, I think in general, uh, we told you guys, by the way, if you missed yesterday, shame on you for missing yesterday because this is the best show on this damn network. Um, but – uh, wait till Friday to buy this thing, guys, because yes. BP and I have, have already talked about our college cards. We do not have, we have one similar, one, one play that's the same. Everything else mm -hmm. is vastly different. Um, as far as the games, the sides, the totals, every look is vastly different. So, uh, you buy the package, you're going to get a lot of picks to choose from of what you think is the best to go ahead and play. So, uh, yeah, this is a great, great, great time to take advantage of it on Friday this weekend. And again, Mark and I were combined last Saturday and Sunday. 10 and 1. It's pretty good, man. This and maybe we could go 11 and 0 this week, who knows, but you buy a 3-day pass from one of us, you get the 3-day pass from the other guy absolutely free of charge. You see it right there, buy one, get one free. Two guys, just two handsome guys wearing blue suits, man. All right. I mean, let's get to our best bet with very uh, stout it, chest. Well, I out. think I think one I think one of us could bench more than the other. We know who that is. Okay. You don't need to rub it in. I just said you had a very broad chest, that's all. You know, I was, I was trying to compliment you. I have no arms either. My arms, I, I have no arms. Uh anyway, let's talk about 49ers Seahawks. Critical game in the NFC West, Mark here. Uh if San Francisco were to lose tonight, and they are uh laying three in the hook, but if they were to they, they'd be down two to Seattle uh and, yeah. and not have a chance at winning the tie break. So it's critical for them to win this game. But Seattle, and the key is Seattle's defense is really banged up at all levels. Yeah. 
a, a 49ers offense which has moved the ball but gotten bogged down in the red zone. They're right near the bottom of the league, I think, in red zone uh, percentage. We think that the 49ers offense could have a coming out party tonight, at least in the first half, sir. Yeah, um, look, if you've seen the Seattle injury report, uh, it looks like one of those CVS receipts that you don't have to print out anymore. Remember those things? Just like, shh, yes. long, okay? Uh, they are missing a lot of dudes and, like, a lot of key dudes. And just real quick, let me run through some of the names in case you don't know who they are because these this is a key part of their system here. Out, Byron Murphy, Reek Woolen, Uchenna Nwosu, uh, Cameron Young, uh, Jarek Reed. All these guys have been ruled out this week. Abraham Lucas out this week. So um, there is a bunch of, of – and oh, by the way, Derek Hall, linebackers Derek Hall and Boye Mafe and Julian Love, safety, they're all questionable. So who knows if they, these guys are all game-time decisions – uh, for tonight, and if they can't go, Seattle's in a really bad spot. Not only that, Seattle is bad. Seattle's defense is bad to begin with. Sorry, Mike McDonald. I know you were good in Baltimore, but guess what? You're not here. Let's really look at what they had the benefit of to start yeah. their season against who they played defensively. Bo Nix, a rookie quarterback, and his first ever start on the road. Uh, Jacoby Brissett, who's who's been terrible, and then <laughs> Skylar Thompson. Like those are the three quarterbacks he faced. Then he got tor- Then they got torched by Detroit. Detroit. And they allowed Dan Jones to rip them to shreds last week. So this is not a good defense at all. This is the worst version of the Seattle defense we've seen in quite some time. The 49ers have won five straight games against the Seahawks, scoring 28, 31, 41, 21, and 27. I say all this to say. The 49ers, as you talked about, don't want to fall behind in this division, don't want to have to play catch-up in this game. They should be ticked off that they didn't score a single point in the second half of that game that would have won them the game against Mm -hmm. Arizona. They start fast. They come out fast. San Francisco, over 13.5 points in the first half. They get not one, but two touchdowns in the first half here. Um, Should have plenty of opportunities. They scored 23 in the first half last week. That included a defensive touchdown, but still. So 16, yes, that's still over 13 and a half. So uh, their offense should do enough here to get over this number in the first half. That's your best bet for the show today. Smash that like button if you agree. Let us know how you are betting the 49ers and Seahawks tonight down in the comment section below. Let us know how you're betting the Major League Baseball playoffs down in the comment section below. We love hearing from you. Uh, also, you are the reason know, we do the show. Let us know. If you have a desire to connect with anybody new on LinkedIn after today's show. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yes. <laughs> the sound effect is so great. Now that I know that it's coming, I'm going to laugh. But like, this, I, I, I was I, thrown I, off. I, I, say, I thought I was about ready to be su- sucked up into outer space when I heard I mean, that sound the first I, time. I, would, I, I I'm not. <laughs> I'm just going to say that I, I, if I woke up to that notification, and I'm not <laughs> saying that I have. Oh, if I woke up to that notification, I would I I would be um, wanting to go back to sleep and pretend that I was still dreaming. So, uh, nonetheless, (laughs) maybe you are dreaming a fever dream, more like a nightmare. That's neither here nor there. I mean, I mean, all of that is sloppy. Very. This will always get you going. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Write in the comment section if this is the best show on this network. I love everybody again. You like that. Uh, There's some nice. great comments yesterday. Don't forget about oh that special God. offer right there. Oh, and oh wait God. just a minute. Wait just a minute. Get that off the screen right now. No, absolutely not. <laughs> I can't win with this show, Ranieri, can I? <laughs>